here to do a public records request. Um, Lisa, yes. go ahead and call the police, please. 911. You're not going to give me a public. I'm I mean, I ask you to turn the audio off. And I'm yes, not, I, I don't can. have to. Florida has what are arguably the best open government laws. As a matter of fact, we not only have a lawful right to access public records under Chapter 119 Florida statutes, we also have a civil right to access public records pursuant to Article 1, Section 24 of the Florida Constitution. Any person, and I do mean any person, because in Florida you aren't even required to be a resident of the state, can walk into a public agency during normal operating hours and submit a public records request. You cannot be required to identify yourself, and you don't need to have a specific purpose or reason to want the records. If the records are readily available, the public agency is required by law to produce the records for inspection. The only delay permitted under Florida's Public Records Act is the reasonable time needed to retrieve the records and make any necessary redactions. Under our federal constitution, we Americans enjoy a First Amendment protected right to document what public employees do on public property, and specifically a right to record matters of public interest. Combined, these two rights are a powerful tool that can be used to maintain a transparent and accountable government. My friend James Butler is a resident of Marion County, Florida, and a father of three children who attend Marion County Public Schools. Mr. Butler's children also ride Marion County school buses. During National School Bus Safety Month, Mr. Butler visited the Marion County School District's Fleet Maintenance Department during normal business operating hours to submit a public records request for school bus safety documents. These documents are maintained at the Fleet Maintenance Department, are required by law to be readily accessible, and contain no exempt or confidential information that will require redaction. To get a um, copy, or I will, not a copy, I would like to look and inspect the uh -huh. most current and, or most recent and completed safety inspection sheet for bus 0902. Okay, first turn off the audio. I'm not going to do that. I'm documenting my public records request. You can leave. I'm not going to leave. I'm here to do a public records request. Um, Lisa, yes. go ahead and call the police, please. 911. You're not going to give me a public. I'm here to do a public records request. And we have asked you, we have told you that you can go downtown. So let me to pull Kevin out Christian. the, uh, let me see the public records request I got from Kevin Christian. Okay. That okay. says that I don't have to go through him to get the records. And what is your name? I'm not going to give you my name. It's none of your business. Yes, ma'am, go ahead and call. See, this is you're your. You're asking, you're telling me that you want me to pull records in that you're not even going to tell me your name. So and I've asked you to turn the audio off. I'm and not, yes, I, I don't can. have to. There is no permission Do not to touch my that phone. You're not even going to tell me your name. So and I've asked you to turn the audio off. And I'm yes, not, I, I don't can. Have to. There is no permission. Do not touch my So as you can see, not only did the Marion County School Board employees violate Mr. Butler's civil right to access public records, they also called law enforcement on Mr. Butler then physically assaulted and attempted to rob Mr. Butler of his property by trying to snatch his camera. Later, when Mr. Butler visited the Marion County School District's administration building to file a complaint, Deputy Superintendent Lisa Krisalka refused to do her job specifically because she objected to Mr. Butler exercising his First Amendment protected right to record public employees on public property. Hey, how are you? I'm Lisa Krasalka. I spoke with you on the phone yes. on Friday, and I'd be happy to have a conversation with you now, but it's not while you're recording. So. Why? Are you not a, do you not work for the public? Do you work for the county? I'll be happy to have a conversation. But you're a public employee, though. Have a good day. So you're not going to take my complaint? You're not going to take my complaint, Mr. really? Mr. Butler, we've already said that your complaint, if you'll put it in writing, we'll be happy to take it. But I, I'm trying to tell you, I mean, you. this is ridiculous. You, you're not going to listen to what happened. I mean, you listen to what happened on the phone. Pretty sure you saw the video on on, on Facebook. No. Sorry, right, it's already been seen by a hundred thousand people. Exactly. That's fine. I'll just have them call. No, no, you're not going to argue. I'm just saying that have you're a day, you're a public employee and you refuse to talk to the public because you're being recorded. In response to violating the public records law, violating Mr. Butler's civil rights, assaulting and attempting to rob Mr. Butler of his property, the Marion County School District threatened Mr. Butler with arrest for trespass if he dares to make another public records request or recording public employees.